Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another mLittle programming tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at user input in Python. We'll look at how to accept input from a user and how to prompt a user to input into a program. So, how do we accept input from users? Well, Python has an inbuilt function called input. Input can be called anywhere in a Python program. Once Python reads the input function, it will stop the running of the Python program and will wait for a user input. So today we can just jump straight into pycharm and call the input function. When we run this, you'll see that our program is running and waiting. You can see that because there's two buttons that are available to click on the side here. One is to stop the program running. The other is to rerun the program. When these buttons are both available to press, that usually indicates our program's running and stuck waiting for something to happen. In this case, what it's waiting for is for us to input something into the terminal just here. So if I come into this terminal and type emitter programming and press enter, our program will actually stop running. The program has stopped running because all our program is asking for is input. And once we've entered the input, there's nothing else left for our program to do, so it just ends. However, as you can see, this process wasn't particularly obvious. To make it more obvious to a user what they need to do, we would want to provide a prompt to ask them to enter some input. To do this, we can just pass a string as an argument into the input function. So we can pass something in like, enter some input. Now if we run this, a prompt appears asking us for some input. And again, we can type emulator programming, followed by hitting the enter key, and then our program will end. Thank you for watching the video this far. I hope you got a lot of value from it. If you'd like to see more Python programming tutorials, there will be a link in the description down below to a playlist of Python programming tutorials. With that said, if you liked the video, if you could drop a like on the video, it would be much appreciated as it really helps the channel and subscribe to see new Python programming tutorials every week. Also, if you've got any questions about the video, drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Have a great day.